In today's video, we will dive into three insane forgotten muscles that could destroy today's supercar. So without further ado, let's get started. Number three, De Tommaso Pantera. When you think of Italian sports cars, names like Ferrari and Lamborghini probably jump to mind first. But there's another legend from the 60s that deserves a place in the spotlight, De Tommaso. This brand may not have the same household name status, but it's got a story packed with innovation, power, and a little bit of Hollywood flair. And it all started with an ambitious Argentinian named Alejandro De Tommaso. De Tommaso originally kicked off as a racing car manufacturer, but it wasn't long before they shifted gears toward producing sports cars that could hold their own on the streets. So what really set them apart? Well, for starters, their cars were equipped with Ford small block engines, paired with five-speed transaxle gearboxes that delivered a punchy, responsive driving experience. And let's not forget those bold, aggressive designs that screamed speed even when standing still. The first car to roll out of De Tommaso's stable was the Mangusta in 1967. The Mangusta was a sleek, mid-engined beauty powered by a Ford 4.7-liter V8 engine that churned out around 306 horsepower. It could hit 0 to 60 miles per hour in a blistering 5.3 seconds, making it one of the fastest cars of its time. But despite its impressive specs, the Mangusta had some quirks, like its heavy rear end, which made handling a bit tricky. Still, it laid the groundwork for what was to come. But hold on, because while the De Tommaso Pantera's engine is impressive, you will be amazed by the mind-blowing specs of the engine in the car that's coming up at number one. Enter the Pantera in 1969, a car that would catapult De Tommaso to a whole new level of success. The Pantera shared a lot with the Mangusta, like its mid-engine layout and that same aggressive styling, but it was a more refined, more powerful beast. Under the hood, you'd find a 5.8-liter Ford Cleveland V8 engine, pumping out 330 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. That power plant was capable of launching the Pantera from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.5 seconds, with a top speed of around 159 miles per hour. Not bad for a car that was technically a small-volume production model. So what made the Pantera such a hit? It all boiled down to a smart business move by Alejandro de Tommaso himself. He struck an exclusive deal with the Ford Motor Company, allowing Ford to sell de Tommaso cars through its Lincoln Mercury dealership network in the United States. This meant that American buyers could get their hands on a genuine Italian sports car without all the hassle and expense of importing one. And with Ford supplying the engines, de Tommaso could focus on what they did best, crafting a car that was both a joy to drive and a sight to behold. The Pantera was a smash hit for De Tommaso, with over 7,000 units produced by the time they wrapped up production in 1989. And it wasn't just car enthusiasts who fell for its charms. Even Elvis Presley himself was a proud Pantera owner. In the end, De Tommaso may not have reached the same legendary status as Ferrari or Lamborghini, but the Pantera and Mangusta stand as testaments to the brand's innovative spirit and commitment to performance. These cars are reminders that sometimes it's the underdogs who deliver the biggest surprises on the road. Number two, the Ford RS200. Ford RS200, an absolute legend that often flies under the radar. While the Ford GT gets most of the glory, the RS200 deserves a spotlight all its own. It's a high octane rally hero built to set hearts racing and push the limits of driving. Let's start with the basics. To make the RS200 street legal, Ford had to churn out 200 road versions. What did these beauties come with? A 1.8 liter turbocharged inline four engine, cranking out a cool 250 brake horsepower and 215 feet pounds of torque. That's enough power to get from zero to 60 miles per hour in just 6.1 seconds. And with a top speed of 142 miles per hour, it's no slouch on the open road either. But this car isn't just about raw numbers. It's about attitude and presence. With its short wheelbase and aggressive stance, the RS200 looks like it's always ready to pounce. 
It comes decked out with a massive hood scoop, a roof-mounted air intake, and an eye-catching rear wing. These aren't just flashy details, they're essential for keeping the car cool and making sure it performs at its peak. Driving the RS200 is like holding a tiger by the tail. It's incredibly powerful and demands a deft touch. Even the most experienced drivers need nerves of steel to handle this beast. The car's design and performance required a blend of skill and bravery, making every drive an adrenaline-pumping adventure. For those craving even more excitement, there's the Evolution spec. Out of the original 200, 24 cars were cranked up to a staggering 600 brake horsepower. Imagine taking an already wild ride and turning it into an absolute monster. These Evolution models pushed the limits of performance, delivering a driving experience that was both thrilling and intense. But the RS200's reign was cut short and the Group B Rally Series abruptly ended after the death of Henry Toivonen in 1986. The FIA decided that the risks were too high, and just like that, the Group B era and the RS200's competitive days were over. The RS200 was retired after only two short years of fierce competition. Even with its brief career, the RS200 remains a symbol of what makes motorsport truly electrifying. It's a car that embodies the thrill of racing, the innovation of its time, and the sheer audacity of pushing boundaries. For enthusiasts and collectors, the RS200 isn't just a car, it's a piece of history, a testament to a golden age of rally racing, and a reminder of the heart-pounding excitement that makes cars like this unforgettable. Number 1. Monteverdi High 450 SS Let's talk about a car that deserves way more attention, the Monteverdi High 450 SS. If you're not familiar with Monteverdi, it was a Swiss luxury car brand that operated between 1967 and 1984. Picture this, a car with the precision and quality of German engineering, the sleek, seductive lines of Italian design, and the sheer, unbridled power of American muscle. That's exactly what Monteverdi cars brought to the table. They combined the best of all three worlds, and the result was nothing short of automotive magic. But among all the premium models Monteverdi produced, one stands out as the most extreme, the High 450 SS, introduced in 1970. This car wasn't just another luxury sports car, it was a statement. The name High means shark in German, and just like its namesake, this car was a predator on the road. Now, let's dive into the technical stuff because the High 450 SS was a beast under the hood. At the heart of this machine was the legendary Hemi 426 V8 engine, and here's where things get really exciting. Back in 1970, if you wanted raw, unfiltered power, the Hemi 426 was the king of the hill. It was Mopar's most powerful engine, and Monteverdi knew they had to get their hands on it. This V8 wasn't just any engine. It was a 7-liter powerhouse that roared with 450 horsepower. To put that into perspective, 450 horsepower in a car that weighed just around 3,200 pounds meant one thing, speed, and lots of it. The High 450 SS could rocket from zero to 60 miles per hour in just four and a half seconds. In 1970, that kind of acceleration was practically unheard of. It made the High one of the fastest cars on the planet at that time. Think about it. This car could keep up with, and in many cases outrun, the best that Ferrari, Lamborghini, and Porsche had to offer. But the High 450 SS wasn't just about straight line speed. Monteverdi developed an all new chassis and body for this car. The engine was mounted mid rear, which was a bold move that helped balance the car's weight and improve handling. This layout meant that the High 450 SS had exceptional stability and grip allowing it to carve through corners with precision. And let's not forget about the design. The High 450 SS was a true head-turner. With its low-slung shark-like silhouette, the aggressive stance, wide rear haunches, and sleek profile made it look fast when even standing still. The craftsmanship was top-notch, blending the elegance of Italian design with the robust build quality you'd expect from a German-engineered machine. Unfortunately, the High 450 SS remained a rare beast, with only two prototypes ever built. 
Despite its incredible performance and striking design, the car never went into full production, making it one of the most exclusive and coveted cars in automotive history. The Monteverdi High 450 SS is more than just a car, it's a legend. It represents a time when car manufacturers weren't afraid to push the boundaries of performance and design. With its hemi heart and shark-like agility, the High 450 SS stands as a reminder of what can happen when you combine the best of American muscle, Italian flair, and German precision into one unforgettable package. So, what do you think? Could these muscles give today's supercars a run for their money? Or do you have another secret muscle up your sleeve? If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. See you in the next video.